This is our school. New, sir. Looks great, doesn't it? We know you're looking forward to coming because you've been telling us. I'm looking forward to cooking and doing drama. I'm looking forward to going to the library. I'm looking forward to football, PE, science, art, music. I'm really looking forward to making new friends. Friends. But we know you've got lots of questions too. So we're going to show you a normal school day at Noosa. Follow, Follow us. This is reception, and over there is where we have our breakfast for free. This is the street, we'll talk about it more later. But now we're going to mentor time. By the way, as we go along, we're going to answer some of the questions Year Sixers, like you, have been asking. Questions like this. I want to know how I find out where everything is. Always have your planner with you, it'll tell you where you are and where you need to be. It has lots of other useful information in, like your homework diary. And where our planners always tell us to be at the beginning of the day. This is where I do my mentoring. Is mentor time. This is the first mentor time of the day. We just take our names here for the register, but we'll tell you more about this later. Now it's off to first lesson. My first lesson is English. Now we've got to wait outside until the teacher comes. Hi, I'm Miss Barlow and I teach English at Noosa. In English today, I'm writing a story for my end of year seven levels. In year seven, you can expect English to be really dynamic, um, working in loads of groups on media, writing stories, telling stories to each other as well, because speaking and listening is very important. We give you the time to work on your own too, so you can be very focused and quiet and really make the most of your imaginations. But most of all, English is about having fun while you're learning. Well, that's it. That's the end of the lesson. Now for period two, competency curriculum. Follow me. Competency curriculum is a unique lesson because it teaches you life skills and it teaches you how to learn. Mrs Wilkie and I'm the coordinator of the competency curriculum. We want you to become more independent learners, how to be the best listeners, how to be the best team workers, great learners in every lesson. Time for another question. I'm a bit worried about getting lost. There are signs on every door. This is what block you're in, this is what floor you're on and this is the room number. There's all sorts of drawings on the wall that can help. This is music. This is PA and this is drama. Also, sounds like this can help. Every student's got their own locker, even their own key. Now it's break time, follow me. There's lots of stuff to do at break time. You can play ping pong. You can go to the library. You can play outside on the sports pitches. You can sit with your mates. Time for lesson three, technology. I've got to get an apron now because I'm going to do cooking. Hi. My name's Miss Morgan and I teach food technology. We're learning cooking skills and how to eat healthy. Things that we year seven make are fruit salad, also tortilla wraps, and things like canopies, which is based on snack and snack products. I'd like you to enjoy the experience. In technology, we also do woodwork. Hi, my name is Di James, I'm coordinator of technology. You can expect to be making things out of wood, out of plastic, out of metal, using computers as well as using traditional hand tools. One of the things which I think is most important is that you will be enjoying yourself and if you listen, if you work hard, you will be successful. And you might even get to make one of these if you're lucky. And now it's time for lunch. 
And about time for more questions. I want to know what they're going to feed us. I'd like to know what the school dinners are like. There's all sorts for lunch. You can have salad or a main meal. I think today it's a roast, but I'm going to have sandwiches. My name is Arian. I'm the, uh, the chef. We try to make your food as varied and interesting as possible. You can have healthy or occasionally nice pizzas or something. What you'll find when you come here is that there's a fair bit of choice. I like how it's all freshly cooked. Paninis, pizzas, uh, there's a salad bar. And I love the way it tastes. Hot pasta, there's cold pasta. And you don't have to have the same thing every day. And at least a choice of two different mains every day. At Noosa, we don't pay with money, we pay with our finger. And this is how you pay for your food. You put your finger on here and it registers your fingerprint. Then you put your money in here, I tend to put about a week's in, and you press this button and that's your food paid for. Um, I'm worried about being at the bottom. I'm worried about like the people who go there because they're much bigger than us, getting bullied. We had lunch and now we're in mentoring time. Hi, uh, I'm Andy Case, I'm coordinator of music industry and this is, this is my tutor group. Mentoring time is really useful because it breaks down the barriers and it's your one chance to be with people who are older than you. We have year 7s, 8s, 9s, 10s and 11s all in the same group. The idea is that when you come into the school you'll have um, a series of people in your mentor group and they'll be able to take you round, they'll be able to support you with any issues you've got. Hi, I'm Sean, I'm year 10. Hi, I'm Giovanni, I'm year 10. Hi, I'm Macaulay, I'm year 9. News is like a family. Don't worry about the older ones, they all look after you. If you get bullied, there's loads of people you can talk to and I'm one of them. Primary school kids coming up to this school don't have to worry about older kids because older kids will look after you. Yeah, yeah that's right. We're looking forward to seeing you. This is lesson four, maths. But don't let that put you off because we're solving maths puzzles on the computer. You'll find you use computers more at Noosa than you do at the moment. Hi, I'm Miss Greenley. I'm a maths teacher at Noosa. When you come, you'll be expecting lots of fun in your maths lessons. Um, we'll be playing games and doing investigations, and you'll be learning all sorts of new topics that will help you lead on into further years at the school. How about another question? I want to know why there are different coloured ties. We've got four different ties for four different houses. Curie, Pasta, Fleming and Lister. This is assembly for my house, custom. Every house has a assembly every week. There are two ways to wear your uniform. This is the wrong way. And this is the right way. This is the last lesson of the day. It's art, which is one of my favourites. My name is Mrs Steele. I'm the coordinator of art at New Sun. This is my African mask and this is my best work. We've got amazing facilities in the art department. Art rooms, fully equipped, textiles rooms with sewing machines and the new addition is actually a brand new kiln for doing clay work. Just time for one more question. What's it like being deaf at Noosa? My name's Mrs Mather. I'm the teacher of the deaf here at Noosa. Noosa is a great school for deaf students. You will have lots of help in the lessons. Me and Mrs Williams will support you when you need support. All the teachers in the school understand about deafness. There are other deaf students here. We've got a base and Courtney. She's done drama, 
she's been out on trips, she's had a really great time and I'm sure you will as well. And one more thing, we have a signing club at Noosa for hearing students. Yes, we're learning to sign too. Don't worry, I will look after you. Well, that's it. That's the end of the day. You can either go home now or stay for after school clubs. And this is just one day. There's loads of other places we go. Down there is the gymnasium. It's big, isn't it? We haven't seen anything yet. This is a sports hall. We do lots of sports in here, like basketball, football and badminton. This is a science theory lesson. We don't just sit and listen to the teachers. We use these to answer their questions. It's really good fun. Over here, they're playing tennis. This is our running track. And down here, there's cricket. There's so much room for sports. This is a special camera, so whatever is down here gets shown over there. So we can all see it here. You could end up in the drama studio or the dance studio. This is the after school drama club, but we don't just learn about acting. Today we're learning about lighting. In fact, there's lots of surprising things at Nusa, like this week we've got the maze. Hello everyone, I'm Matthew. Now the maze we like to think of as an exciting space to find out about the world and to encounter the weird and the wonderful. We'll be bringing it back next year with new features. In the meantime, if you want to encounter the weird and the wonderful, visit me at the Wonder Room anytime. You're always welcome.